Hello again, this is Pearls doing my Let's Play of King Dugan's Dungeon, and last time we uh, got a little preview of this room, which I've decided to start on for this video, for whatever reason. Um, but this is a roach and cups themed floor where we try to keep the roaches inside these uh, walled container sort of regions. And this is pretty standard fare here. Um, we just gotta get all these roaches onto the right spots before we uh, manipulate them too much. And the tricky part of this room, in my opinion, is honestly this upper right corner because you can't use this spot here because based off of these breakable walls there's no way to reach that spot. So you kind of have to do a little bit of maneuvering and paying attention to that. But now everything seems to be in good position so we can go through the center here and open things up. Now the order in which you um, go about killing the roaches is important here. There's certain thresholds you can't cross, otherwise they'll step off into a region like here. You can't go above this point. So uh, this left, going left here first is probably not the worst idea. Um, and then I can't go and get this one because this guy will step off and I can't go here. So I gotta be uh, pretty sneaky on how I want to do this. Oops, I goofed that up though. Let's try this again though, with uh, less, less dumb involved. Okay. Alright, um... I think I can go to the left here now. Let's see, it's this, this is the threshold I can't cross, right? So I can poke it, but I can't step there. Alright, now I can go here and get these two. And now I want to go left, I believe. So, because going down here would pr put me past this threshold, and I need to get those guys before they step off. Uh huh. Yes, and I think we're almost golden here. <laughs> I agree. Much laughter. Uh, let's go left. Uh, oh goodness. Okay. So the way this room works, I think, is we can get them all down here. Oops, come on. But the trick of it here is um, the amount of roaches I have there at the top. I can't have a roach standing here because when I go through the middle, which is the standard, like there's always like some central mechanism that you unlock all at once. I'll uh, be unable to do it because this guy will step off, and I so I need to get at least one more roach over to the side here, like that and get them in position. So this looks like a much safer position, such that they'll get trapped on the right side here. Uh, Alright, let's do this. And the last one. Not a very hard room at all, in my opinion. Alright, let's keep going in my counterclockwise circle. Now we saw this room last time, and I said I'd start here, but I lied. I felt like starting with a different room. Um, this one shouldn't be too bad. If you look, you could try to like go through and like plan all this out, but you only get one chance through these of these orbs here. So, um, and all of these open something. None of these close anything. So, in my opinion, but some of these, some of these over here on the left do. So, in my opinion, the best thing to do is to. Uh, just kind of make a nice run through. Now a lot of stuff is open, but you notice that some of these are still double closed. Um, like these three and a couple over here. So what I would do is go through now at this point and check to see which ones will get you a benefit without actually losing anything. Uh, like this fourth one from the top definitely will. I don't see what I lose here. This one opens and everything that closes is already closed. So that's one. Uh, this one, this fifth on the top, opens everything and doesn't seem to do anything bad. Uh, oop. This one might. It's hard to it's hard to say because this one opens, but this one closes. It's third from the top, and this. Uh, That one doesn't do anything, it looks like. But this one, this one's tricky. So we either gain the benefit of this one or lose the benefit of this one. And when I go through here, 
It doesn't seem like any of those are actually going to get directly affected besides exit gates. So I think I've capitalized as much as possible uh, on the orbs there, with the slight exception being this one, which I don't think I can really do anything about. So now I'm going to go step over to the the run here and hit all the orbs I can and clean up the orb the roaches as well as possible. Okay. The best way to do this puzzle basically is just to assume it's not near as hard as it looks with all the orbs. And just assume that the the designers are not going to be that evil. Which works out pretty well, I think. Uh, oops. So now we just get to go through and see what we can open with what's left. Um, oops, did I forget one? So the second one does me some good. Okay. third one does me some good. And what other one? I might have overclicked one. The sixth one does me some good. And that's pretty much it for this room. It just takes a little bit of assuming that <laughs> the world is not about to immediately end. Okay. Uh, Alright, so this one will involve some accounting based off of the position, it looks like. There's going to be a lot of places for Roches to step off of things if I'm not careful. So it looks like I'm going to want to be able to fill... Uh-oh, my friends have found me again. Uh, I want to fill this room on the bottom left. Let's actually get some more Roches down here just in case. I can always get them back if I need to. I want to fill this room on the bottom left with enough roaches to, f like, let's see, to not, oh boy, that might have been too much. I believe it, yeah, it probably was. Uh-huh, it was. I want to fill the bottom with, let's see. Is that too many? Yeah. It's kind of delicate how I want this to work. Like, I want there to be only so many in there. Um, but I can't decide how many that is. So, if I put those three there, I'm just, okay, I can get one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. I can get two more, I think. That'll be good enough. Alright, and the rest of them have to fight over this territory. Which means I probably had too many on the other side. Yep. So, let's try this again with, uh... Let's get this filled up relatively decently. And then the rest of them can come down in here. So one, two, three, four, five. Alright, come on. Come on. I don't know if I have enough time to quite finish this one. So let's see here. I got this one doesn't count, I, and these two don't count. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one more can come. The rest of them have to contend over this territory here, which they seem to be able to do just fine. You two get in there. There should be plenty of room. And then I just got to worry about these five, these ones getting in the right space. like that. So now none of them can step off. And none of these are really going to do it. Now these upper ones hopefully will correct themselves as soon as I get in position. And I'm going to just hope that's the case. Um, I don't have a lot of time left, but I think I've pretty much solved this room. And then none of those are going to have the opportunity to ever step off anything. Alright. Well, there. Four rooms isn't too bad. But, uh... 
next time we'll try to finish up this flora. I think I should be able to do it, but it's been Pearls, and I will see you next time with more Let's Play Drod.